we'll be working with the OEMs and with the retailers and the channels to market them to help the consumers and the business decision makers identify which laptops actually are part of our Project Athena Innovation Program. But underlying all of this is the way Intel has always engaged with and co-engineered with our, the ecosystem and through our deep partnerships with the OEMs. And so I'm looking forward to turning over to my good friend Jim here to tell you a little bit more about that. Yeah, so we brought engineers from around the world and dozens of demonstrations right next door. So right after this, you can go over there and put your hands on many new products with 10 gen, 9 gen, workstations, proof of concepts that haven't been launched yet. What does that take to pull these together? It starts in the center of this slide with leadership CPU SOC <coughs> chipsets, graphics, Wi-Fi, Optane, Modem, Thunderbolt. But let me just pause on Thunderbolt for a moment. That's high speed IO, 40 gig. And you'll see a, a, a stand over there that shows the PC that has Thunderbolt that offers charging, high, high speed IO, and display output. And then you'll see docking stations and hubs connected to endpoints. And so we offer PlugFest with all these different parties annually to get ready for the platform launches. That's what a platform approach takes on a new ecosystem that Thunderbolt's emerging into. Then you go further around with software and BIOS and sensors. Sensors, we'll give you a couple demonstrations on sensors. Display is one of my favorites. It's one of the power hogs of the PC and it's becoming much more sophisticated. Last year we launched one watt panels that delivers four to seven hours better battery life and video playback. And many of the Athena designs are adopting those technologies to achieve the battery experience expectations. And we're gonna focus platform efforts for Athena in consumer and commercial. We have a commercial focus already. You'll see a demonstration of that over there for security and visibility. And you'll see gaming and creator. Creator's been a big deal in, uh, this year. You'll see some of those demonstrations too that pull these technologies. So that's what technologies Intel brings to the party and also the involvement with our partners. And then uh, how we do this, first of all, we've done it before. We, we started, we wanted to start a new experience and, and some of you were here for that, mobile wireless computing with adding Wi-Fi to the laptop. And now it is ubiquitous in every device we carry with us and connect to. We launched off of manageability technology, vPro, so you can do down-the-wire management. Many of us don't remember the days, but they used to bring driver disks around to update drivers. Now we do all that down-the-wire. Ultrabook ca captured the imagination of bringing mobile experiences, touch, longer battery life, bigger and lighter systems to the notebook. And now we're ready to do that again in a bigger and bolder way, long-term with the theme. It's grounded in the systems engineering we have in our company. We have hundreds of engineers here in Taipei, in Shanghai, in the US, that co-engineer with our deep engineering talent at ODMs and OEMs and the, and, and the vendors. And we start this co-engineering literally when we're powering on our A0 silicon. We are now powering on OEM systems within days and weeks of that event together. And most importantly, for our partners, we scale to thousands of designs every year. And this is just a glimpse. You'll see many, many more. But uh, with some of the technologies like ultra small compact motherboards, sensor technologies, the ability to tune sensors, we've done many firsts. So here's the first leather bound PC with long battery life the Dell Latitude 7400. It is my daily machine right now. And it is a nice form factor, long battery life, but it wakes on my presence and can see my face and log me in. When I walk away, it goes to sleep into modern standby. So these are the types of things. Jim, that one is, uh, not only is it a best for business uh, VPro platform, right. right? But it's also one of the platforms that are part of the Project Clean Innovation Program. Yes. And, 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 so, and so this deep engineering is actually how the video comes to life in people's lives. Uh, we don't have the Acer Swift 7, which is a design that they claim is thinnest, but we have the Swift 5 next door, 10th gen, which they'll claim is the lightest. And so they all want to target their different, different part of the market with their value prop, and we engineer to those expectations, not just ours. 
and I think many of these on-the-go systems up here, right, are the types of systems, you know, whether it's the ones up here or the next generations that we absolutely are including into the Project Atlanta Innovation Program to get that experience to the next level, like we talked about. That's right. And so, Marco, if you could come up. Marco is one of the engineers we brought uh, from around the world. He's a software architect. And Marco, thank you. So, this demo will be available next door. But it's just an example of a proof of concept that's not ready for market, but we want to start giving you glimpses of. So, Marco, over to you. Sure. Um, I'm here to present oh, I'm sorry. on IBM PC. Just tell me to advance the screen, my fault. Uh, <laughs> one of the problems we recognize is that when the lid on your laptop is closed, while it holds all your valuable information, you don't have a way to get to it. So we decided to address it. You have a display on the outer of the screen combined with um, closed intelligence um, and um, advanced traffic on your subsystem that really gives me all my relevant information on my, on my fingertips or really beyond okay. my fingertips. So let's put it on the camera and just show it. Quick demo again. You can see this in detail and get pictures next door. Go ahead, Marco. Alexa, Hi. when is my next meeting? Uh, but I get to the other one. So there's one example of calendar interaction. There can be many more. So I share with you that it wake, this machine wakes up when I walk into my office and sleeps. We also have a demonstration of eye detection. So it brightens the screen when you look at it and dims it when you don't. Again, another battery, battery saving feature for future. And we do proof of concepts like this, right, to inspire the industry at what can be next, right? So lots of investment we make to really imagine the next generation. Okay, so thanks, Jim. You know, we've covered a lot in the last 15 or so minutes, but in the, in, the, in the spirit of accelerating the pace of innovation, I have a couple of other surprise announcements to make for you now. Um, so first, I'm excited to announce the Intel Optane Memory M15. It features higher density, higher performance, and lower power than the first generation product. And combined with the 9th gen Intel Core mobile and desktop platform, people will experience short boot times, fast application launches, and fast gaming development and it will be available starting in Q3 of 2019. Now, with new laptops coming with Wi-Fi 6, you'll need a Wi-Fi 6 capable access point or gateway for the best experience. So we're excited to announce that AVM, Edamax, Elecom, Netgear, and TP-Link are all launching new products powered by Intel technology this year. Next up, in collaboration with both Microsoft and Asus, I'm excited to launch the world's first AI on PC development kit. It includes a brand new laptop form factor and features the latest AI software and hardware technologies to give developers the tools they need to develop cutting edge AI applications. The dev kit contains a powerful combination of an Intel Core CPU, Intel Iris graphics, and for the first time, an Intel Movidius Myriad X VPU for a high performance, low power AI workloads. So with these three hardware engines, they can run a diverse range of AI workloads that will deliver the most comprehensive breadth of new raw AI capability for mobile PCs today. And this is going to really unleash the developer's creativity and capabilities to bring new artificial intelligence usages to the PC. The kit will be available to download starting next month. Next up, we're launching and shipping the new Intel Adaptix technologies. Yesterday, Gregory Bryan shared the new Intel Performance Maximizer tool for desktop processors. That was just one tool um, in a whole collection of software technologies and tools that can help OEMs and consumers maximize platform level performance and experience that we're putting under the Intel Adaptix uh, technologies. The toolkit actually includes, besides the Intel Performance Maximizer, Intel Dynamic Tuning Technology, Extreme Tuning Utility, and the Graphics Command Center, which we just announced yesterday. And I think tools like this, Jim, it actually helps your team, right, scale the kinds of things they're able to do and help put that in the consumer's hands as well, right? Yeah, the, the, the machines have become very complex. And so we've been developing these tools since 2015 and using them in our labs and then coming to do the work first for and then with our customers. Now we're enabling them with much more sophisticated, easy to use tools so they can do more of that themselves. Great. And then finally, we're excited to introduce the new Intel Nook Elements. So this is a modular system of components that allow our channel partners to capitalize on all the innovation as well so they can build optimized products for their customers. 
This Nook Elements module includes CPU, graphics, Wi-Fi, uh, memory, storage, all in a modular form. And that will enable our customers to develop new solutions that you know, easily can scale from Celeron to Core i7 uh, without having to redesign and open that up to our channel partners. So for example, uh, Jim, might you tell us a little bit about that, that notebook? There? Yeah, so this is, this is a, a, a laptop that we've designed that will take, you'll notice this has a connector edge to it. You can literally plug in a module into this machine for channel partners and they can have a Core i3, Core i5, Core i7 based solution with rapid time to market. Yeah, and this, this specific example is actually designed by um, OEM JP Saputo for uh, a range of products coming for the education market that takes advantage of the Intel Nook elements. And so in coming months, you're going to see more beautiful laptop designs uh, based on Nook elements, just like the JP design you saw there.